Ideally, your pre-shot routine starts as soon as you finish the last hole. Because as you walk into this hole, you can be taking in lots of information to help you when you get to the tee. So here, we can see no wind. But as we go up here, here, a lot of wind. So down there, I can be misguided, thinking it's all quiet and I can go straight at the flag. That's tricky, that's risky, because there's a bunker right to the flag. So inadvertently, I'm starting to bring unnecessary risk into the shot, but here I can feel the wind. So down there, it's already starting to shape the idea of what shot I'm gonna play. Got a right center pin, so we're gonna go left of the flag. That's the wide landing area. Thinking about, we've got to carry it, set it off to the left into the breeze to bring it back so it's like an extra half club maybe I'm gonna hit a four iron uh, start it left and let the wind bring it use the wind as your friend sometimes don't try and fight it aim for the left hand side of the green allow the wind to act if it doesn't hit it hard that's not a problem if it drops you're still okay plenty of green you've missed the green on the right on the right side lots of green to work with whereas if you miss it to the right hand side of the green you're bringing the bunker in short-sided tricky slopes, plus there's rough, you're introducing an unnecessary card wrecking score. So where are we going to tee up? Well, I'm going to tee up on the right hand side of the tee to hit into the wind to the left hand side of the green. So I'm essentially hitting away from the trouble that I perceive to be on the right, the bunker. Then I'm going to let the wind bring it back. Even if you fade it, draw it, it's all about the start line. So instead of getting fancy with the ball fly and thinking about I'm going to start holding it up or fading it with the wind. We can just, on a basic level, think about our start line, tee it up on the right and just commit to that start line and let the wind do the rest. And just focus on a good fluid swing, committed to the finish and focus all the way throughout on that start line. So I'm going to take a four. The shot starts much earlier than you might imagine. Essentially, we're playing the shot here. If we're thinking about the shot, the swing, and how we're doing it, when we're actually at the ball, it's way too late. That opportunity has passed us, and now it's, it is in the lap of the gods, potentially. We need to prepare. So here, visualizing now the start line, feeling the swing. If you're gonna make a swing in the air, that's fine. No problem, but it needs to be committed. It needs to be the actual swing. There is no such thing as a practice swing. You are making the actual swing you intend and then you're gonna replay it. So if you're gonna swing it in the air, that's fine. But I would suggest if you're off the tee, make contact with the ground. How do you want this contact to sound? Where do you want the contact to be? Make a full committed swing. So I've got a good idea where my low point is. The contact, it didn't dig in. It was a good solid strike. I can imagine the ball and turf contact. I know where that release took me to, to my finish. So I'm gonna to commit to my finish. So we're well prepared now. We've got the shot in mind. We've got a feel for the swing. All we've got to do now is commit. We've got to replay it. That's all we're doing. In our mind, we've already played this shot. All this golf ball is gonna do is make it reality. If you want to have another swing, that's fine. So you've got a good feel of what you're doing. So I'm right of centre of the tee, encouraging me to swing to the left away from that trouble area. I've got a nice flat lie, so I'm not introducing any unnecessary errors. And then we can go through the routine. We don't just commit to the swing, we commit to the whole process, the whole mental run up and the execution. So every aspect of that pre-shot routine carries the same level of intent. We are committed all the way through. No matter what part of your motion, no matter where you're stood, no matter what is going through your mind, you are committed to the end, all the way, from the beginning to the end. So we've got a mental picture of the shot we're gonna play. We're committed to the start line, but in our mind's eye, we have the whole image of the golf shot. So we're not just committed to the start line, that's imperative. We also have the whole shot, the ball flight, the landing point and the release also in our mind, we're committing to the whole golf shot. The level of intent is maintained throughout the whole duration of this golf shot. So as we walk to the shot, we can be starting to feel the golf club. This is an active part of the system, a very recognizable, functional part of the system. 
It's not static. This is a movable part of the system. You'll often see the players twizzling the club in their hands and switching hands. This club is extremely recognisable as part of this system. The club face, that's another recognisable part. And when we go to the golf ball, we start to take our grip. Looking and reacting. Looking at the image and reacting with movement and intent. And as we now look to the ball, yes, I'm looking in here. This is my field of view. But at the forefront of my mind is the golf shot. This image is in my mind's eye. And it's the mind's eye that you're using to play the golf shot with. So even though we're looking in this area, we're going to be moving in response to that image in our mind's eye. So golf is not a static sport. It's reactive and we're reacting with our movement to our thoughts and our thoughts are predominantly based on our mind's eye, the intention of the shot. So as we set up to the ball, we're calm with the ball, focusing on maybe a dimple, getting that dimple to stand out. That doesn't mean we're static. We're still moving. Even though my gaze is quiet on the ball, physically I'm still moving and reacting to that image in my mind's eye. And then look just to affirm that image and to help yourself orientate your body to allow you to execute the movement in the direction you want. So essentially, there's a constant calibration taking place in response to that image in the mind's eye. And then we get quiet with the ball, even though the club head might be still and my gaze is quiet on a dimple, we're moving. My feet are moving, there's a weight shift, the hands are moving and then we get calm and quiet and then we're ready to go, we're ready to execute and we're going to commit to the whole motion all the way to the finish because this release, this weight shift, this golf swing needs the finish for it to function. So commit to the shot, follow your routine and stay focused in the present.